Hi, I want to talk to you about Explain Everything, the Swiss Army Knife for Learning. Some of the things that you can do with Explain Everything is you can move and animate, you can draw and annotate, zoom and pan. Uh, cool things you can do is export and share, record and play, import and insert. Get help in the app. On the home screen, if you press on the eye in the circle, you could uh, press on the welcome guide and it will actually walk you through a fair amount of uh, ideas and ways to use the app. The video tutorials are also really wonderful. I highly recommend you take advantage of that. The tools, um, and this is also explained in the help guide, you'll see that there are many options. The cool thing is if you press and hold on any tool, you get more options. For instance, if you press on the pen, you'll get uh, more sizes of pens and a pen tip. If you press on the uh, uh, shape tool, you get the different shapes that you can put in so far and, and so on. You'll get many different options. At the bottom of the screen, it has uh, directions for moving back and forth between slides. Uh, you can use the record button to control and if you tap on the timeline in the timer um, you can actually edit the timeline and delete any recorded audio things of that nature. The uh, laser tool is a pretty uh, cool tool to use as well when you're doing presentations. The best thing also is that no account is needed for Explain Everything. However, you can connect Evernote and Google Drive and so you have to be on the home screen to do that. And you press on the gear and then navigate to the number one here where it says Accounts. Turn on Evernote and Google Drive. Each time you turn those on it's going to ask you to log in. You'll log in with your Google account which is always at students.de.org. On Google you'll have to press Accept on this window that pops up. Evernote, you simply uh, log in with your Evernote account and authorize it. This allows you to then share things and export to Google Drive or Evernote. The settings for backup are also important to adjust. This is also under the gear under the general tab. The backup folder will keep um, projects you've been working on. Either it's off two days, seven days, or infinity. You don't want to fill your iPad up with a lot of backups. Um, however, you're going to be having a much larger iPad in terms of storage space, so infinity is a good idea. You can always press on clean up now, which will remove all of your backups. You could do that from time to time um, if you haven't been working on it for a while. While we're working on settings, also under the gear on the export tab. It's a good idea to lower the size. The default size is 1024 by 768 which is a pretty large file. If it takes too long you can always export it as a 640 by 480. The medium quality is fine and mp4 is a great file format. So when you are exporting slides without audio recording you will um, basically end up making a PDF and under export also in the settings you can select it so that there's um, a five second transition between. Most of the time you will have some type of recording so you may not need to do this very much. To save projects which you have to do because it does not save automatically every time you press on the home button um, it's going to prompt you to give it a name if you haven't given a name so give it an appropriate name and then you'll press yes to save the changes. Once you've finished a project you can export it. When you finish a project you're going to press the folder icon to um, export it to either Evernote or Google Drive. Make sure you have an audio comment on each slide in order to export as a video and there is some information here about what to choose. If there is no audio you're going to choose a PDF. If you have audio you're going to choose video file. If you are working on a collaborative project together where you are going to share your explain everything with another student or a teacher who's going to then merge all of those into a project
you will use the project tab. You can also export more with under the more tab which gives you um, a few other places to uh, export it to or to open in. So you could export as a PDF to open in iBooks for instance or Evernote. You could export as an MP4 and have it open in Evernote or some other application. This is again how you would merge um, a collaborative project. So you students create their project, save it with a unique name, and one student exports their Explain Everything proje project to Google Drive. The same student goes to Google Drive and shares the Explain Everything project with the other student, and uh, the other student does the same sort of thing. Then you use the Open In in Google Drive to choose Explain Everything. There's a video link there that will explain more. Explain Everything is quite powerful. Never underestimate the power of what you can do when you have an app called Explain Everything. Thanks.